there's there is this one thing we had such a great conversation last time i forgot to rewind it a step turns out that some people are coming to to understand diabetes for the first time right here right these folks who are just diagnosed and they they really want to get it straight they're hearing words like insulin resistance and insulin sensitivity for the first time briefly can you explain what type 2 diabetes is let's just start at the beginning and and why why our focus is on increasing what's called insulin sensitivity absolutely and that's the underlying um, causation of most people, the, the majority of people with type 2 diabetes. And that is, they start by becoming overweight. And then fat on the body blocks the uptake of insulin because the insulin can't get into the cells to work. And if insulin can't get into the cells to work, it can't get the glucose out of the bloodstream into the cells. So insulin is the carrier molecule. It's a key that unlocks the door to allow the sugar, the glucose, to go out of the bloodstream and get into the cells, the body can burn them as energy. Now, when you have um, fat on the body, it um, bl blocks the insulin molecule from working, and particularly saturated fats distort the shape of the insulin receptor. So now the insulin doesn't work well. So you have body fat and saturated fat. Mm. And then the beta cells in the pancreas that are producing insulin have to produce more insulin because they need more of it to work now. So when a person is pre-diabetic, and I'm saying every overweight person is pre-diabetic because every overweight person has insulin resistance. So I weigh, let's use my body as an example at 150 pounds. If I was 170 pounds, the beta cells in the pancreas that produce insulin has to secrete now twice as much insulin because I gained 20 pounds. Now, you know, 10 units of insulin a day isn't enough. I need 20 units of insulin a day at 170 pounds. But if 190 pounds at this five foot 10, I'd be able to requiring, you know, 60 units of insulin a day. If I was 200 pounds, I'd be requiring, I could require 10 times as much insulin if I could become obese as a person of a normal weight. And that person is not diabetic as long as the pancreas is producing huge amounts of insulin to keep their sugars controlled. But insulin itself, accelerates atherosclerosis and is a fat storage hormone and is a growth hormone that promotes cancer. So high levels of insulin are promoting cancer in overweight people before they have diabetes mm. and it's promoting heart disease and diabetes in, in overweight people before they develop diabetes. The diabetes development just that's another element of, of, um, of danger because now after years of being overweight and the beta cells in the pancreas working so hard to produce an excessive amount of insulin because of the insulin resistance from all the, the beta cells start to poop out mm. and they only can now produce um, lower levels. Maybe I, I'm producing twice as much as a normal weight person would need, but the twice as much insulin is not enough for the body because they're so insulin resistant, there's so much fat on the body. So two times the level of normal insulin isn't enough for the person and the sugars start to rise and the person next diagnosed with diabetes.